William Edwin Bruce Jr. was born December 29, 1939, and was an American country music singer, songwriter, and actor. He was known for writing the 1975 song, Mama Don't Let Your Babies Grow Up to Be Cowboys, and recording the 1982 country number one hit, You're the Best Break This Old Heart Ever Had. He also co-starred in the television series Brett Maverick with James Gardner during the 1981-82 season. Bruce was born in Kaiser, Arkansas, and grew up in Memphis, Tennessee. In 1957, at the age of 17, he went to see Jack Clement, a recording engineer for Sun Records. Bruce caught the attention of Sun owner Sam Phillips, for whom he wrote and recorded Rock, Boppin' Baby, as Edwin Bruce. In the early 1960s, Bruce recorded for RCA and some smaller labels like Wand and Scepter. Singing rockabilly music as well as country material and pop material such as See the Big Man Cry. In 1962, he wrote Save Your Kisses for pop star Tommy Rowe, and in 1963, he reached number 109 on the Billboard Bubbling Under chart with his own recording of See the Big Man Cry. Both published by Bill Justice of Turnville Music. Charlie Leuven recorded See the Big Man Cry in 1965. Leuven's version reached number 7 on the Billboard Country Singles chart. During his career, many songs that Bruce wrote and recorded were more successful when re-recorded by others. In 1966, Bruce returned to RCA and recorded Puzzles, The Price I Pay to Stay, and Lonesome is Me. He scored his first charted single with Walker's Woods in 1967, and also charted with his version of The Monkees' Last Train to Clarksville. Both of these singles were minor hits. In 1969, Bruce signed with Monument Records, where he continued to have minor successes with Everybody Wants to Get to Heaven and Song for Jenny. Bruce wrote, The Man That Turned My Mama On, which became a major hit for Tanya Tucker in 1974, as was his Restless for Crystal Gale the same year. He signed with United Artists Records in 1973 and released several singles, but only one single in 1974 became a minor hit. Bruce finally made the top 20 on the country charts with his version of Mama Don't Let Your Babies Grow Up to Be Cowboys, a song he wrote with then-wife Patsy Bruce in 1976. Two more top 40 hits followed for Bruce in 1976, and in 1977, he signed with Epic Records, where he would score minor hits. In 1978, Mama Don't Let Your Babies Grow Up to Be Cowboys was recorded by Willie Nelson and Waylon Jennings. It became a major hit and continued the upward swing in Bruce's career. In 1979, Tanya Tucker took Bruce's 1977 song, Texas When I Die, into the country top five. In 1980, Bruce signed with MCA Records, where he would score his biggest successes. His early hits with MCA included Diane, The Last Cowboy Song, When You Fall in Love, Everything's a Loss, Evil Angel, and Love's Found You and Me. His biggest hit, You're the Best Break This Old Heart Ever Had, went to number one on the country charts in 1982. This was also Bruce's first top ten hit as a singer after 15 years. He had other hit songs that made the top ten like Ever Never Loving You, My First Taste of Texas, and After All. In 1984, Bruce returned to RCA Records and scored a number three hit with You Turn Me On Like a Radio in 1985. 
His last top 10 single was Nights in 1986, and his last top 40 single and last chart single to date was Quietly Crazy in 1987. Bruce supplemented his songwriting income doing voiceovers for television and radio commercials. After the 1986 album entitled Night Things and a 1988 self-titled follow-up, Bruce made a conscious decision to cut back on his music to focus on his acting career, appearing in several made-for-TV films. He hosted two shows in the late 1980s, Truckin' USA and America Sports Cavalcade. He had the second lead on the television revival of 1957's Maverick called Brett Maverick, starring James Gardner as a legendary Western gambler. The series ran on NBC TV during the 1981-82 season. Bruce played the irascible, surly town lawman who found himself reluctantly co-owning a saloon with Maverick, with whom he seemed to maintain a surreally adversarial relationship more or less throughout the entire season. Bruce sang and wrote the theme song to the show, while Garner himself sang the same song over the end titles at the show's close, while being relentlessly interrupted by network announcements about upcoming programming. Bruce appeared in several theatrical cinematic releases, including Fire Down Below with Steven Seagal. Sadly, Bruce died of natural causes in Clarksville, Tennessee, on January 8, 2021, at age 81. His former wife and music manager, songwriter Patsy Bruce, died four months later, also at age 81. Okay, that's the end of our video. I sure hope you enjoyed it. If you like this type of video and want us to keep producing them, please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you very much for watching.